Well, as part of the RevUp Montana project, we employed navigators at 13 different schools across the state, and they were wildly successful. Uh, navigators helped students figure out what programs to get into, how to get through programs and problems that arose in their programming. We were looking at the end of the grant approaching and not entirely sure how those positions were going to be sustained beyond the funding of the grant. So our innovation was to take that training and create an innovative and highly interactive course that anyone from Montana or any state anywhere could use to train navigators in a similar fashion and give them the skills they would need to be able to help students beyond the scope of this grant. So if you buy into the idea that workforce navigators are an effective tool, which every indication from TACT projects and other Department of Labor and Department of Education projects would suggest, uh, you need to have a way to train those people. And in many cases, workforce navigator is not a position that currently exists in a school or in a workforce system. And it ties on a lot of different skill sets and it brings in a lot of different activities. So the first thing you need to understand is what that person does. And this training spends um, a good amount of time making sure people understand what it is a workforce navigator is even supposed to do and how they're different from what currently exists. The training program that we created is 12 individually packaged modules that a potential workforce navigator can use to gain the skills that they need to be able to successfully help students come into a program, work their way through the program, and then complete successfully. Uh, the training modules cover everything from what is a workforce navigator to uh, the types of intake skills they may need to help assess where a student is and what type of program they might need to be placed into, um, all the way through ways of using metrics to make sure that you're, what you're doing is successful for your institution. So the training modules were designed to be highly interactive. Uh, I think we all understand that online learning is a great resource, but it can also be really dry and boring, and we wanted to avoid that, especially with a professional development course. Uh, the modules are about 30 minutes to 60 minutes long each. They can be taken at your own pace at any different time. And because they're individually packaged, you can actually use them um, at different times, maybe just pick and choosing the ones you want that are going to work best for the training you need to augment for your employees. So we spent a lot of time collecting data. We had a really robust uh, navigator database that each of our campuses had to fill out with case management information and then bring back to us so we could create reports that went back and showed the campuses while your system-wide, your enrollment is down 13 percent um, in navigated positions in those programs at our schools, their enrollment went up 24 percent. So we were able to look at that and then averaged out that most of the campuses could have been um, bringing in up to like $130,000 worth of tuition fees and FTE funding with these navigator positions that wouldn't have otherwise been there because they were finding students that weren't coming to the schools. So. I think the most significant challenge was definitely wanting this to be a resource that could be widely used. We built on a lot of best practices in navigator training. We're certainly not the first people to uh, create these navigator positions. We really felt like we had not just created something new, but really collected the best resources out there available for training navigators and then disseminated that in a way that people would actually want to learn the training and not just read a, a really long manual. There's also a lot of associated resources with the training, uh, worksheets, um, some intake forms, data tracking uh, tools and ideas. So uh, I, I, we really hope that someone could take this training and not know anything about a workforce navigator at the beginning and by the end be able to go out and work and bring students in and get them jobs.